Himsa is one of the five precepts in, in yoga, uh, but I'll let you explain it. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? Sure, sure. And I love this. And I credit my own therapist for having brought this into my life when I was in therapy during a difficult time. And she also has a yoga background um, in addition to being a clinical psychologist. So it was very much sort of a, a nice, almost spiritual addition to the way that I thought about some of these cognitive techniques. So the concept of ahimsa is this concept that we're all connected and that when we hurt another human being, we hurt ourselves too. And the way my therapist had used it for me was going the other direction because I was being particularly hard on myself during this period of my life and was blaming myself for things that I just couldn't stop blaming myself for despite needing to let go of that. And I think that, you know, turning it that way, realizing that every time I was unkind to myself or that I was really aggressively violent with <laughs> blaming myself when I would have never done that to someone else, I was in a way putting unkindness back into the universe too, because if we all are connected, it really does go both ways. And I think so many moms in particular, they're really good with the compassion towards everyone else but they really struggle with turning the compassion inward and having some grace for themselves. And I think, you know, that's a classic problem. And I think this concept of ahimsa helps drive home the fact that you're not doing anyone any good by beating yourself up. And that in reality, when you're beating yourself up, there's going to be a ripple effect somehow. You know, if, if you're being so negative to yourself, your kids are going to maybe pick up on that, or there's going to be a negative tone in the house, or you're not going to be as productive in the work you do in helping other people or whatever it might be. We all are really connected. And, and I love that because I think it's a way of thinking more profoundly about the way that some of these cognitive techniques can actually help society as large. Catch new episodes of the Mindful Mama podcast and other free resources, including the Mindful Mom Guide at mindfulmamamentor.com. You can listen to every back catalog episode, including interviews with Dr. Dan Siegel, Janla Van Zant, Sharon Salzberg, and get meditations, join our private Facebook group, and more. Go to mindfulmamamentor.com now. I'll see you there.